Hello everybody and welcome back to another part in Nancy Drew's Secrets Can Kill. So before we get into the game, I just want to say that I have been sick for a week now and I'm finally feeling better, which is why there's been such a delay on videos. So I am finally feeling better and I am really excited to get back into playing the games and uploading content for you guys because I have not been able to record in about a week. It's been ridiculous you guys and I missed it so so much but I had the flu and I have never had the flu before and I really never get sick so this really took me like down like this just was <laughs> this is like my breaking point in regards to sickness I couldn't talk I couldn't breathe I kept coughing like if any of you have ever had the flu I I salute you for getting through it. I really have never felt this horrible in my life. So I'm finally able to talk. So I definitely wanted to get some recording done because I am so, so behind. And I did miss um, playing Nancy Drew. So um, let's, without further ado, get into the gameplay here. So in the last part, we accessed the teacher's lounge. We distracted Connie. So we can look at some of these books here. There's a coin. There's another coin. I think there's a coin. Yes. We got three coins. So let's see. Gray Enterprises. Ported a 500 million second quarter loss. Eugene Gray. I think this is um, Daryl Gray's father. I'm pretty sure it's Daryl Gray's father. Um, let's see. So we have a bulletin board in here. CLD2. This is the... Um, one clue. I don't think we can look at anything else here. And then there's a fridge and microwave. And then here is a computer. Okay, username. Um, I'm pretty sure was the username um in here. Oh yeah, this was the um yeah, this was the oops. And then it was, um, oh, wise elder. No, that's not the username. Oh, come on. Um, did I spell, I might have spelled her name wrong. <laughs> you know, oh, wise elder. Oh, there we go. Okay, I must have spelled her name wrong. Okay, so let's look through the printer. Status complete. File. Security report. Okay. So we will print that. Um, we'll check mail. Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Jake Rogers for bulletin board duty. Please send me a list of candidates you recommend for this duty. Principal Parton. Alice Parton. Okay, so Jake was getting removed from his duty. Maintenance. Clean stairwell near cafeteria. Repair lock on video lab door. Check ADA requirement for doors. Call Dylan HVAC for boiler service. Change password to boiler room door. Um, let's look at CD-ROM. Not available. Okay. Recycle is empty. Passwords. So athletic supply room, supply room name, cafeteria kitchen, appell, maintenance room, note, nurse's office, clock, year, draw, read, exit, and work. Okay. So we'll have to, I think... I don't know if we have to remember those or not. And then help. We don't need help. Okay, so that is everything we can look at there. Um, oh, there's a coin. I don't think there's anything else we can look at over here. Um, oh, here we go. We can look at this. So this is the in and out board. Ellsworth is out sick. Um, funny that she, uh, our aunt isn't on here. So meeting committee, out sick, meeting, vacation. Okay. Okay. So lights left out on, left on in the library, sent email to E. Drew. All outer entrance doors checked and locked. Backpack belonging to Connie Watson found in student union. Place in Lawson found. Several outside security lights are out. Work order submitted. Hmm. Observed young man peering through school entrance doorway. He identified himself as an exchange student and was trying to retrieve his homework. I let him in and escorted him to his locker and escorted him out of the building. At approximately 8.30 p.m., I overheard two individuals arguing outside Geyser Gym. When I approached them, two males ran 
did you guys hear that? Uh, two males are in down Rutherford Street. The first male is approximately five foot five inches, 120 pounds, red hair, 15 to 18, or yeah, 15 to 18 years old. He wore a green windbreaker and jeans. The second male is 15 to 18 and wore a football jersey. Um, senior prank. Joe Gray, Nathan Gomer, and Vaughn Wong. <laughs> Heard screams from the east stairwell after calling 911 and found a male teenager apparently fell from the stairs. Attempted to apply first aid. See police report. So that's Jake Rogers and when he was murdered. So Hal, it looks like, retrieved his homework that night. And then Hulk and Jake, around 8.30, were arguing by the gym. And then at midnight, Jake was found by the east stairwell. And then Daryl Gray was... Um, uh, doing a senior prank. Okay. So, all right. So is there anything else? A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. D1 AG. Okay. And I don't think, oh, can we? Oh, senior file papers. Okay, Hal Tanaka. This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Reminder, submit Hal Tanaka senior paper to POM Scholarship Foundation. Hmm. Okay. So Hal is going to get a scholarship, possibly. That's what he's been working for. But Jake has the exact same thing in his locker. So why? Why? Okay. So we can leave now. Oh, cell phone's ringing. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. Uh, okay. What? What? Nosy nosing. Okay. All right. Um, wait a minute. Can we? Yeah, here we go. Mitch Dillon. That's the guy who just called us. Let's call him back. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Ooh, okay. So, that was a bit intense. All right. Um, so that guy obviously just called and threatened us. Um, but he's heating, cooling, and ventilation. Why that's important, I don't know. Okay, so... I do want to go ahead and go through um, these, uh, oh, what do you call them? Bulletin boards. Okay, so there's a bulletin board over here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I still have this horrible cough and it's like everything's starting to, you know, like kind of come out of my system and everything. So if I have to cough, I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is the first bulletin board that you'll find in the school. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so I believe will help my flick f the will help plight will help my plight the first letters up down left right so up down left right the first letters will help my plight that's how you want to read that okay so up down left right so something to do with up down left right um okay and then i believe this one um, how do you, so, F-I-N-D, okay, so this is, 
you want to read this how this is Finn find is right here so the next letter of this word is in this so find the morning edition and and discover so this is this and then cover and then the R's right here discover another crime the answer is in black and white to black and white to who will do the time so find the morning edition and discover another crime the answer is in black and white to who will do the time okay so oh how to knock as an honor student so that we got to find a morning edition of something um and then this one uh this is scrambled it forms a cryptogram um so if you write all this down and sit and stare at it forever like i had to um sinners on a vid so remember that VHS tape in Jake's locker, that's going to reveal who our sinners are. And then let's go to this. Now this is upside down. Um, so nowhere to turn, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. Uh, the so is this upside down no um, a symbol I think it starts a symbol of kanji worn with great pride reflects big secrets that someone must hide and then this one it's upside down in written Uh, yeah, he did what it took to make the grade, even if it meant cheating, to keep up his charade. So this is talking about, this is basically, these are all messages from Jake that are talking about a culprit in the game. And then, uh, I think there's one more over here. Okay, so this one is an eye chart, and um, if you look at it, you know, obviously the big E, um, I believe it's, if anything happens to me, look in my chemistry book, three, zero, five okay so we've already can we talk to you I'm again not into pushy girls do me a favor and bother someone else um you're gonna talk to me do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker ha I didn't pay much attention to Jake I'm tired of talking about that loser I'll talk to you later you're tired of talking Bye, about yeah. a dead guy like I love how no one has like any like respect for the dead uh okay so 555 judo i think we can call some of the numbers in this game so let's do 555 j u d uh oh we are currently not seeking any new initiates at this time we will seek you if you are worthy Okay, that's creepy. All right, so yeah, we can call a couple phone numbers in this game. Let's, okay. So let's go to um, the library. And this one is got a note as well. It's got numbers. Um, 
I believe this represents the alphabet. But we already figured this out because this is just the code for the pop machine, which I already knew. But that'll tell you about the pop machine. And then this one does too. So they both are clues for the pop machine. Okay. So let's, um, I guess, go into the library. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm smart. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple things to look at in here. Um, let's see. Or do we? I think we can look at a couple things in here. Um, or maybe not. Okay. That music got creepy. That music got really creepy really fast okay let's call ned so i can calm down that just scared the heck out of me Hi, uh oh what do the dots on the lock did i ask him this already mean? their braille notation the encyclopedias in the library must have information on oh. how to decipher them okay i gotta go off weederson okay <sighs> that got really scary guys Okay, uh, there's something, um, oh yeah, I think we have to go over here and look at, uh, sports. Ethanol is a steroid and was one of the drugs stolen at the drug station. Okay, right, we gotta read this. So, hectanol, yes, it is a steroid. That, oh, now we got some cool music going on. Steroids is one of the things um, that jocks can use when they get hurt and have to. Yeah, okay. So let's... Um, oh, here we go. Uh, reference. Can I go around? No? How do I get... Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can do a catalog search... Um, I don't think I know what I need to be looking up just yet. So let's see. Oh, you can just use any computer apparently. Um, I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long that I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know if what I need is up here. Um, okay. So let's go. Okay, I love how the music changes with. I think that's really weird. Okay, let's go upstairs. Um. Let's see. Okay. Why did that happen? Someone just set the alarm off. What? Sorry about that, guys. So let's go ahead and just... Because I don't think we actually need to be up here. So... Okay, magazines. So here's where the reference books are. And so we can look at this one. This is about Braille. So this is going to tell us about... Um, that code to the boiler room. So this is our A, B, C. Um, I believe. Yes. Okay. So the good thing about them remastering this game is we can actually take pictures and save it for later. So let's go ahead and take a picture of that. And I think that's the only one we can look at. And then this one. Okay. So a lot of the books in this library are just books from different Nancy Drew games. Like this one, for example, Marie Antoinette. This is from Treasure in a Royal Tower. Wait, okay, I saw the thing, but I just want to make sure. Okay, and then Lizzie Applegate. Um, I don't remember what Nancy Drew game this was from. Uh, let's see. 
Royal H. Harry Houdini. This is for um, Nancy Drew, the final scene. And then here we go. Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Okay, so it's kanji for crane. So we're gonna have to keep our eye out for stuff like that. Um, and we'll also, so let's, we need to talk to her about the medallion she's wearing. Talk to Hal about the essay he copied. Check. We did that. That's done. Did we do that? We did do that. Haven't done that. We have not done that. Um, we haven't been to the. Did that? Or yes, we have. Did that? Did that? Check. 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 That's done. Check. Did that? Still have to do that. Check. Did that. Check. Okay. So we've haven't really been checking things off. So, but we can talk to Connie and then talk to Hal. And then um I don't think we need anything there. So then um let's go over the computer and knowing Jake's locker combination will help us. So let's do, what was his combination? I don't remember you guys, good gracious. J, A, K, E, five, two, five, three. Okay, evidence, Jake Rogers under my seat. So we need to find Jake's seat. Which is over here. Jake was here. Here's his chemistry book. Things to remember. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. So here's one of the messages, I, you, too. So there is 18 of these in all. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction. So that's him. And then there's this thing, which stays here. Okay, so I think, oh gosh, yeah, so now I've got more stuff. Look at the schedule at Check. Maxine's. We'll look at that again though. Check. Um, Still have to do that. Yeah. Um, so I think we've done everything Still have to do that. now. What else do we need to do? Um, I think we've done everything in the library though, but, um, matchbook. So yeah, we're gonna have to go back to Maxine's. Oh, so here we go. BR and HG, HG, BR. I wonder how Nancy writes it in her. Cause these, or L-A-L-U, no. Did she write it down? I don't think she did. Hmm. The elements tell the order, the letter and digit tell the direction. But she didn't write down the letters that were on the thing. Hmm. Okay, so I think we also need to go back down. Oh, I know what we're missing. Um, I think. <laughs> I say that, but I'm not. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Maps. Okay, so you have to read the letters. If anything happens to me, search under my chair in wait search under my under my oh no under my combo in that's right okay so we already did that so I'm ahead of that but this is one of the things we need so did we find all 18 I don't think we did that's done oh yes Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that's the 18th thing that we need. 
Now, I wonder if looking at the periodic table will help us. Probably not, but... Okay. I know the periodic table has something to do with it, but... Okay. Alright, so let's go and go talk to the other students. Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, so should we go to Maxine's first or should we go... Let's go talk to Connie first. And how? Uh, Had you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? <laughs> Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Mm-hmm. Okay. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Hmm. See you later. See you later, Nancy. So you uh, copy an essay, someone finds out, and then you have to do their homework for the rest of the semester and still be buried in work. Yikes. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this part here, and then in the next part we'll go through and talk to everybody else and then go to Maxine's and figure out what the matchbook is that's there. So if you guys like this part, go ahead and give this part a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye, you guys.